Hello, everybody. It is another... Oh, that got all screwy. Awesome. Uh, not sure why that's doing that. That doesn't even make sense. All right, um, I'll figure that out in a moment. It's a... It's, uh... Friday, and I feel like smashing stuff, so I'm gonna be smashing some stuff in Hotel R&R, &R, which is a... Why the... Okay, okay. Did I just, uh... Alright, no, that's... Let me fix this thing here a little bit. Ah, good to see you. Yes, you did mention the name was going to be very similar. Oh no, for some reason... Why is it capturing my stream window? I don't know, it was supposed to capture a browser window, so... I had this set up, why is it, why is it misbehave when I'm not looking at it? Set contents? I definitely had it set up. Eh, I'll just... Find it and fix it here. Known applications, where is... Okay, that's the right window. I'm just going to have to redo the cropping. So, yay! Crop window. All right. I don't know why it wants to be fussy with me here again. I seriously just sat down and configured this not that long ago. Height looks good, so it's really just the left-right that needs a little adjusting. Is that good? Yeah. Could be a little wider on the right hand side. Let's try this again. Alright. Like that. Back. Yeah, that seems like a good spot for that. Alright, I'll see how that fits and I can always adjust it a little bit later. But I got that fixed. So I'm going into a game called Hotel R&R. &R. It's one of the games I showed off a little bit during one of the uh, showcase streams. It's uh, really just a game about trashing hotel rooms. You get a bunch of hotel rooms, a bunch of stuff to pick from in those hotel rooms. The whole story is you are a rock star who did a deal with the devil. And the devil gets your soul and you have to trash some hotel rooms for the devil and you get to be rock and roll famous. So it has a story mode of sorts that I've already played through. Ah, yes, there we go. Nope, that should be good. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it gives you a little bit of a uh, ready room that gradually upgrades itself the more famous you get, where I've already cleared pretty much everything. I've got everything you can get in this. You can smash all that stuff. I don't know if you can smash your soul. But, uh, yeah, I got that back. So I kind of got the best out of that deal. But you can... You can, uh, you can smash all kinds of stuff. It's a fun game to go around and destroy things in. It's basically a VR rage room. Good, good for messing around in as well. But it actually does have a sort of gist of what you're supposed to do. In the regular mode, you're supposed to go into a hotel room, do as much damage as you possibly can without getting caught, and then get out as well without getting caught, or killed, or sued. So, you know. And it gives, gives you a bunch of different hotels, rooms to go through, starting in the Dumpy Motel, working your way all the way up to something really fancy. I think the highest one is Pump Tower Hotel. No idea who that's supposed to be a parody of. Huh. I, I can see the details a lot better on this one than I could on the old headset, too. Ha. So I'm going to work my way through the hotel rooms. I'm not going to go super hard on trying to get a high score because that can take a lot of setup to get the kind of scores I've been getting. 
but I am going to try to cycle through various tools. You can unlock throughout the course of the gameplay. Oh, cool, somebody finally beat my high score on this one. Nice, I've held that one for a while. What was the old headset? That was a Valve... No, no, the current one's a Valve Index, sorry. Autopilot, Mouth, Brain. The uh, old one was in HTC Vive. Good headset. And let me just pick a few things to smash stuff with. I'll go through... Uh, let's see, if we're doing the small hotel, I'll take this. Actually, you know, it's really good. For every... Oh, I'm taking the cattle prod. I'll take the Hulk hands. Uh, I kind of want to take the t-shirt cannon. I don't bother doing that. That just This just lets you skip a mini game for locking the maid out, but then the other guy comes right along, along anyway, so it's not really gaining you anything unless you're really into a bit of destruction. All right, so yeah, I'll get that. It's all upgraded in silency. Uh, yeah, I'll take the fish. And uh, yeah, that seems good. Then I'm pick a vanity item. I've also unlocked a few of those. This one's the best vanity item if you're taking any amount of guns as it doubles your guns. Since you can't reload in this game, doubling your guns doubles your ammo output. Great if you want to go on a full gun, lo gun run. So yeah, here I am in my nice hotel room. It's, uh, you know, it's the, it's the bottom end of this, but it's still not a bad little motel room, actually. You know, they left some nice food for you. 12 bucks to clean that out of the carpet. And ceiling. It doesn't always pop up with the uh, cost, so I don't know if there's a specific trigger for that. All right. So you can cycle through, basically, you put these items in your rider, and that's how you get them to use. Here we go, we got a nice fish. Just uh, great for smashing stuff up. And if you make too much noise, then the maid will come looking for you. There'll be a little mini game where you gotta try to keep her locked out. And then the hotel manager comes shortly after. Hmm. This is a laundry chute. <laughs> Good use of that. I'm not, I'm not getting that back. And then after the hotel guy, and you do the uh, locking mini game with him as well, then security comes. They give you a bit of a countdown for security so you know when you got to get out of there they will get inside the room. Like, they won't play that locking minigame. They'll be there. They'll point a gun at you. If you do anything other than put your arms up, they will they will actually shoot you. Whoop. Just a little bit of glass cuts on me. That's the other thing, too. Your goal is to rack up a big bill. Like, it's to do as much damage as possible and not have that offset by lawyer costs or by medical bills because that will reduce the amount you get but they give you all kinds of fun stuff to play with each thing has its own physics okay that's where we're up to sometimes it comes up but uh aside from just i don't know throwing some eggs on the wall a little tomato on the ceiling for them to clean up you can do, and uh, it's something... Hmm. Oh, crap, I'm getting the thumbstick drift again. Might have to RMA that. That's a problem. Didn't realize, uh... Didn't realize this was having that again. Oh, well. It's still the first pair of uh, index controllers that I bought. Well, first replacement for the index controllers because I have the ones that actually came with the index still pristine in the box but I had bought the controllers themselves previously because they were compatible with the Vive so that these are starting to act up now is still upsetting but at least I have a spare in the wings so you get all kinds of cool stuff to play around with cattle prod as you can imagine we need a maid in Whoop. Guess wreaks havoc on electronics Generally, all kinds of stuff, too. Yeah. 
Now comes the part where I just trash everything. Oh, all out of juice. Cannot knock staff out until they're opening the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's play the mini game. Knock, knock. You call for an exotic dancer? <laughs> All right. That gives me a little time to uh, continue messing shit up. <laughs> Whoop. All right. It's on fire now. I'll just leave this here. I'm walking over now to you our guest. Smash! Okay, I'm starting to take a little damage on that. Might not have thought this one through. Alright, I gotta get out of here or I'm dead. No, I'm dead. Medical expenses. Not my idea, but I like it. Yeah. I got myself killed there by uh Messing around with that. I'll take one more swing at that one to get out alive. Same loadout. I'll switch the fish out for something else. Uh, the t-shirt cannon's more suited for some for a bigger venue. Let's see what's really satisfying here. Ah, oh, yeah. I'll take the guns. Double your fun, double your guns. 12 bucks to clean that off of the ceiling. I think any food damage is 12 bucks a pop. I don't think it matters where you throw the food. I mean, I just throw it wherever because it's fun. Now, a little trick is when you get these fully upgraded, they are silenced. So you can actually do a lot of damage with these and they don't hear your gunshot. And it'll go full auto if you hold down the trigger, but I like getting those precision shots on it. And there's actually a lot of bullets in, whoop, there we go. Yeah, it it's, doesn't like me physically turning around, it wants me to snap turn more. Whoop, taking a little bit of damage off of that. No exit. No exit. Can't knock staff out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those are it. And for some reason, despite all the hotels being different, it's the same hotel staff and the same room number. Oh, thank you very much for the subscription. Very much appreciate that. Hopefully, hopefully one day I will be able to do this as day job. All right. There we go. That's on fire. Good, good. And now everything else is. All right. That's it for the foam finger. this step. <laughs> Alright. Uh, excuse me, sir or madam, I intend to enter the room now. Oh my goodness, we'll see what security has to say about yeah, this. Yeah, we will, won't we? Yeah, that's the problem is security will just straight up shoot you. You don't get to play the mini game with security. I uh, kind of trashed everything already. All the major stuff. Whoop. Smash. All right. I'm taking my leave. And aside from some medical bills that I definitely picked up, See, it itemizes all the damage and shows you a subtitle. It's actually not too bad at all. Not bad at all for a I'm just screwing around run. 
Usually my I want to get a high score run stuff involves me setting up all the breakables in one pile, all the burnables in another pile, and then setting a bunch of stuff off at once to do that, and then just flinging shit on the walls. But let's pick the next hotel room. And I'll show you how they progress. Because there is quite a bit of a progression on these. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change up my gear too, actually. And I'll keep that. I'm going to ditch the boxing gloves in favor of... T-shirt cannon. This will be a good one for that. Uh, foam fingers, not bad, actually. If there's any items you want to see me use, chat, let me know as I cycle through them. If you want to see me do a run where it's mostly just that fish, I'll do the fish. And there's a little robot that I can't pick up. I can flip him, though. Sometimes he self-writes. See? This is, a, this is a nice little hotel room. A little fancier than the first one. Whoops. That was my alarm clock. Now it's not. So... You know, a few more goodies here to enjoy in this one, like all these... Whoop! Don't have my own strength. Yeah, I'll just walk through this and throw this on myself. I'm real good at, get, at not getting hospital bills. All right. All right. Whoop! All right, that's because it's hitting where my head is. Wow. Hey, oh. Wow. I'll show you. Go ahead and check it out, please. Thank you. So, because I've already kind of set stuff in motion there, it does limit my time a bit. I am taking out this toilet, though. I promise toilet destruction in this. Close. She almost got in. If she gets in, you either gotta take the L and deal with. Get the balloon. Oh! Yeah, there are a bunch of balloons out there. There's this balloon, there's that balloon. You can stick them to stuff and they'll just fly away with it. Eventually, they get high enough that they break and they will drop the item. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, Huh. Doing a little damage there. We've received a number of complaints, and I must insist that I check the room. Oh boy, that was close. Actually, it doesn't really matter with this guy, other than the amount of legal fees I gotta pay. If I can get out of here without getting caught, I don't pay any legal fees, even though they know what I'm doing. Ooh. Ah, yes. D West just followed me. Thank you very much for the follow there, D West. Welcome to the stream. Uh, do I want to play around with that? I want to set some stuff on fire. Yes. Ha. <laughs> no longer air conditioning now. Whoop. It's a gravity gun, which on the next run, I'll try not to set everything off right away so I can show this off a bit more. 30 seconds, I gotta get out of here. Also, I gotta try not to take too much smoke inhalation on this one. All right. I'll rerun this one with a different kit as well, cause actually with 14,000? Respectable. Oh, a few people passed me on the leaderboard here. I'm going to have to take that on later. It makes for a boring stream when I'm going for a high score just because it's like 90% set up. But uh, let's go in again. Foam finger, revolver, tac 9 t-shirt, cattle prod. Hmm. Why don't I drop the revolver and get a little bigger here? Shotguns. 
old timey guns. Those are fun. Uh, the fish. The fish is a fun one. Just to uh, just to slap in things or leave somewhere funny. Also, if I wanted one extra random item above and beyond what I select for my rider, I enter that code into the safe that's in the hotel room, and I can take an item out. So I might actually. It's three two five. I just need to remember that. You know what? Let's just uh, switch the cattle prod. Out. What do I want to change? That ooh, fireworks are fun. I'm gonna put those in the toilet. I don't have a means to light those. I just realized. <laughs> I don't have. Oh, I do have a means to light those. Okay. All right. That'll be fun. I'll just uh. Whoops! Whoops! All right, I uh, immediately alerted the maid. And it's slow mos for dramatic effect if you do certain things. I'm just gonna restart this one because that is way earlier than I wanted to go. Actually, I'll show you what happens if uh, if you get caught. Oh, that didn't even set that off. Awesome. And then she peeks in. This would be the part where I punch her to stop it from happening. And then she's just like, she sees the room, and that's it. Are you that asshole singer? And then you get a rap sheet. You get a lawyer fee, the hospital fee. Still hit 10000 off of that. But let's do this and not set everything off right away this time. So obviously I don't want to break that door, or I don't want to break that door with that item. That's the fun part. I'll just take one of these. There we go. Nice easy way into the bathroom. That was a bathtub. Take that toilet. I should be saving this for the stuff I can't reach so easily. All right. Well, with that in mind, I guess I don't need to uh, set the fireworks off in the uh, in the bathroom because I've kind of already destroyed that. However. Does Mr. Fish want to fly, or does Mr. Fish want to swim? I think Mr. Fish wants to swim. I missed. Yay. <laughs> I managed to completely miss the pool. The great big pool that's right there. Is that not enough to lift that? Are there any other balloons here? I'm... Should I put the balloons on this guy? Yo. Air. Air. Whoa, can you not stick? Okay. Oh, so he can't. Interesting. I can't pick him up. I can't stick the balloons to him. He picks up the pieces if you let him. Yeah, I want to do something with this. Where's a good spot to put this? Maybe here, right? Yeah, I think that'll be a good spot. Hmm. Let's see. T-shirt cannon. I mentioned before, this one is very much a fun one as well. When it's... Like, this is the upgraded version. I've upgraded all these things. When it's the non-upgraded cannon, it's a more traditional T-shirt ca cannon. It's got the glass case. You put T-shirts in it. You can also fire anything else that'll fit. Beer bottles fit, but wine bottles don't. Some cutlery and stuff fit, so you can have some physics fun with that one. Um, when it's the this uh, gravity gun kind of rig, you can pick up a lot of stuff that you normally couldn't pick up. Like that. Sounds like you're some excitement. Well, time to set everything off. Oh! 
<laughs> Look at the damage those flowers did. Oh, you're lucky I'm out of juice on that. Alright. Get it. Keep, whoop. Keep her out. Have it your way. Have it your way. That's a whole ad campaign right there. Wow. Screw you too, robot. What else do I got? What else do I got? Oh, t-shirts. All right. All I have left are t-shirts. Uh. Uh. Oop, hand's starting to get a little rough. If you break your hand, you can't use it. Just like in real life. Can't keep me out. I am the hotel property. Wait. You are a degenerate brute. Sorry. Oh! Okay, that hand is now broken. I can't actually do a lot with it. Oh, I can still smash stuff. Oh! All right, and now I am in trouble. Gonna have some medical bills off of that one. How's that, a thousand bucks? I guess this game's not based in the States. If it's only a thousand bucks for the amount of damage I just did to my hand, that's still sad. All right, nope, not this mode I am looking for. That was hotel number two. Now we're moving on up to hotel number three. The charity auction. Actually, I am just gonna real quick mess with a setting here. Let's switch that to that for now and see if that has an impact on the reproduction I'm on the uh, reprojection I'm getting. Cause I might still be pushing it. I do have a 3060 in here now, but it is still VR and it is still just a 3060 compared to what I could have. Still solid upgrade over the 1070 I had before. Massive, massive upgrade. All right, well, if I'm going to a new hotel, I did pick a new hotel, right? I picked the third one. I wanna have some different stuff. Instead of picking an optimal selection, I'm just gonna pick some stuff that is fun and try to show off a few things. Yeah, you know what? Blubber bounce, you can put it on, actually a lot of these are kinda of meh. I can do this and set things on fire. Uh, where is... Oh, those are fun. Where is the C4? There, whoop, there we go. And I'm gonna pick something else. Extra health, uh, punch power and durability, durability, rider melee weapons. I don't have enough melee weapons to make that worth it, so I think I'll take the extra health. All right, so this one's different. This is the charity auction. It's the newest one that they've added to the game. You start off in the kitchen. Oh. I uh, didn't know I could do that. I feel like I'm not supposed to be able to do that. Well, you start off in the charity auction, you go to out here, there's all kinds of stuff up for auction. There's a claw machine, which you can actually play with up in there. And there's fun stuff, actually. Lots of fun stuff that's available for the auction. It's basically counting on you being really famous by the time you unlock this stage. So lots of stuff around back as well. It auto resets. We get these cube watermelons. Which you can just eat around. They actually kind of look delicious. Oh, look at the sheen on that. It's 
Smash the egg, yeah. That's always a good one, too. Ha! Yolk's on you. That lobster just destroyed concrete. So, for this one, of course, they give you the backstage to play around with, they give you this to play around with, they give you a kitchen. You notice these all become a bit bigger in scope each time you move on to a new one. I'm Batman. Oh! Oh yeah, I remember how to... Wonder... <sighs> Alright. Get a deal with this whole situation. Do I have anything that's fire? Yeah, take that. It's a charity, actually. Let's uh, let's fire things up a little bit. Come on, come on. There we go. Now it's going. I'll just leave this here. Yeah, here I we go. I am the manager of this place, and I have the authority to enter this room. Ooh, he almost got me on that one. Been a little bit since I played this one, so I'm a touch on the rusty side. Whatever you're hiding in there, security will ferret <laughs> it out. Spoiler alert, they won't. <laughs> Sometimes I like to pile all the burnable stuff here, and then just do this while I go set other things up. I will do another run of this to show the uh, upstairs, because I don't have the time to make that work. Well, that didn't quite do what I thought it was going to do. Look at that. Ooh, that was okay. Ah, yes. No time like the present. Ah, right, that's my cue to exit. Let's see, how did I do? Well, okay, people are getting me on the scoreboard on a few of these. Gonna have to put a little bit of work in. I'll do this one again, cause there's some fun stuff you can do in the kitchen. Oh yeah, I do have the lighter. All right, gives me some options. Start you off in the kitchen, where you can, in fact, turn all the burners on. You can also open these up. Sometimes there's stuff in them. Usually no, though. Just using up all their gas. You get an octopus, which basically works as an extra bonus melee weapon. Not necessarily the greatest one. Ha. You can actually melt the lobster with fire stuff. Whoops. I was hoping to get a little more mileage out of those eggs than that. Here we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, physics. That makes that makes perfect sense that the door would just do that. Can I take out the door without alerting anybody? Hey, nope, I sure can't. Huh. No, I'm going to reset. It's really quick loading anyway. All right, so the thing I wanted to do here, whoop, 
All right, you're good. You're good. I'm definitely not gonna die from this. You're good. I might as well put one on that too. I can reach them both. This absolutely will get the maid going. Uh, yeah, before I do this though, I'm gonna show you that special room up in there. This is the this this is a newest example of being able to change scenes like that. So gives you a lot of stuff to play with. You can raise or lower the lights. You can toggle. Uh, you can do that. Uh, there's the whole crane machine. You can do stuff like that. You can set off the smoke machine. It has those same party buttons. Oops. <laughs> Didn't realize. Okay, yeah. Then there's a claw machine you can play around with. Takes a little getting used to. There's actually a thing, a mission, achievement, whatever you... Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Rumpus. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some stuff you can do with the claw machine, including a way to um, stack the tables for a mission. I think I took care of that a while ago because I've unlocked everything. But that's a fun thing to play around with. You can also smash the controls and this all goes ape shit. Hey, coming in. You gotta be dressed. Come on. I didn't wanna come in anyway. <laughs> yeah, of course you didn't. Oh, all right, might as well, uh, might as well set this into motion. I'm getting out of here. Oh, I lost my uh, thing. I don't know why I lost. <sighs> really wants to just randomly not work today for some reason. I'll fix that between rounds. So I don't see what you folks are saying right now because it's decided to do that again. Whoop. Yeah, if there's anything I do want to. Yeah, it's weird. I got the thing for the thing, but not the thing. I'll just leave this here. Where did I... Yeah, right there. Yeah. If I haven't already broken all this stuff, it sets everything off. It's all uncontrolled chaos. Where the heck did my... Alright. Oh, okay. I guess I accidentally hit that. Okay, mystery solved. Well, let us go on to the next one. Lots of cool stuff to do in that one. Again, I'm going to the wrong one. Crossroad, that's the loco, that's the charity auction. The Takashita Inn Hotel. This is actually a really cool hotel. Like, this is one I like. <laughs> it's just very stylistically fun. What do I want? Uh, yeah, fireworks and the lighter. Oil spray, I didn't even use it. Basically, you, you coat stuff with oil and it'll slide around and it'll let you set fire to things that don't normally get fire. Uh, the relaxin, the float mix, the t-shirt cannon, do not disturb sign, glue gun, tomahawk, cattle prod, ooh, cattle prod. Uh, firecrackers, C4. Yeah, yeah, that'll give me something to play with. 
So yeah, this is this hotel. It's very stylistically Asian. You can do that. It's a great one for if you want to gather stuff and put them in all in one pile like I tend to do. It's great because it's got a lot of easy to grab stuff. It's got a lot of flammables, a lot of smashables. It's got some cool stuff for decoration. Wait, 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 no, no, just... Is that really just? Oh, come on. Okay. It highlighted just the mask, but it won't let me grab just the mask. And in this room, you get Crockwaiter. Crockwaiter is the best. You can just order booze. Crockwaiter will serve you. Look at that. Daddy Bass, number one, Alabama Song Whiskey. Oh, yeah, I couldn't read this on the old headset. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't. I haven't really played this game much since getting the index. Oh, my God, you can actually read this. What the heck? <laughs> this is great. And then they got, you know, the sushi conveyor belt. It's great if you... Actually, the sushi doesn't look too bad either. Whoops. Whoops. You get a karaoke machine. And you can actually kind of karaoke on it. And you get a whole ass bowling alley. And the bowling alley's fun. It's actually got some unlockables associated with it. I've unlocked them. Whoop. I went over the line. So there's a trophy back there, and if you bowl good enough, which takes a little getting used to. Ah, yeah, I am bad at this. But if you bowl good enough, you eventually get, oh boy, you get that trophy, and that's a gold trophy you can destroy some stuff with. Wow, I am not great, not great at bowling. Oh, God, I swear, I've been able to do this. Wow. There we go. I hit some of them. Wow. <laughs> Nothing like uh, having failure to follow. Uh, 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 uh. That's respectable. Really? I'm not I'm not picking up that spare. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Takes a little to get the feel of it. Oh. All right. Oh, that was bad. Now it'll reset the pins. I mean, you can just go down there, but it automatically knows when you're across the line. And there. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can, in fact, mess with them. Can't get the trophy, though, until you earn it. The game is very very serious about that one. You can, however, take this lovely booze right away. Hello, Crockwaiter. This one has a very cool thing to... Uh, and <laughs> to destroy, actually, if you break this, it'll just yeet booze across the room. And then we have the bathroom. It's a lovely bathroom. How can I help you today? With Crappy, the toilet. A lot of this stuff is flammable. A lot of this stuff is breakable. Crappy's pretty expensive. Pretty expensive. Crappy will also flush and destroy anything you put in there. I'll just leave this here for now because I don't want to set that off quite yet. I don't want to start the fun.
Ah, Croc Waiter's not having a good day now. Whoop. All right. All right. <laughs> so, things are kicking off now. That toilet's definitely dead. Told you I was gonna smash some toilets in this one. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's in slow-mo because of the stuff going off. Whoop! <laughs> okay. That was quite the thing her voice did there for a minute. I didn't want you can still anymore. hear the devastation. Alright, let's see. Let's check. Oh, no. Crappy's dead. Tragic. What else do I got? Oh, yeah. This is all I got left. I think that's all I got left. One firecracker. We received a number of complaints, and I must insist that I check the room. Where did I leave my lighter? I think in the piano. You won't let me in, but uh, yeah, I think I'd love my lighter in the piano. There we go. Just wait. Yeah, I will have to let security in, won't I? That'll take care of that. Whoop, thought I had something in my hand there. It all becomes just a frantic, uh, and you can break that too. I don't really gain much from it. Oh, right, where's my lighter at? Well, if he's up, he's down to 30 seconds. Ah, there we go. Out of it. All right. Fifteen thousand, not too bad at all. All right, I'm gonna do this one one more time. I'm gonna change up the loadout a little bit. The firecrackers were fun, but didn't bring a lot to the table. Uh. I think I might go with the good old Tac-9. I didn't make as much use of the cattle prod as I really wanted to. Uh, yes, this one's fun. It's so, it's a good way, it's a good way to get yourself killed, this one. Because, uh, well, you'll see. Physics happens. All right. So let's plan out my role here. Can I just... Nice, nice. So then that'll be how I do that. The Anta side. Uh, I'll just put this over here and I'll just go on a rampage through this place. Actually, I kind of want to take out all that as well. So I will put this... Uh, there we go. Don't need that. If I want to do a little uh, on the sly damage. Bowling. No, thank you. Actually, if you leave and come back, it'll work again anyway, because they want you to be able to get the thing. See? Somehow, despite me having just destroyed all the projectors. It's not generating balls, though. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here.
Now flush this. Okay, it won't flush that. I know something it will flush, though. I <laughs> grabbed the sushi right through the glass somehow. Oh, this looks freaking good, actually. Good you must have eaten well. Good fight on voyage. So yeah, it auto-flushes. It comments on what you've given it, and then it auto-flushes. I deal with human waste. Stagnara human waste product. And it'll break whatever's in it. Sometimes you can get some crazy stuff going off of that. Let's see, where do I want this to go? So that's already kind of trash. The tomi- the, uh... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can, uh... Kind of get both. Yeah. That seems like a good spot for that. All right. So we've got a real quick setup going on here. Everything has a place. Yo, yo, hold still, hold still, hold still. I can't remember. If I, have I already broken? I think I might have already broken the flammable part of him. I'm, I'm tempted to do this a third time just to show you this guy on fire. I'm going to do this, though. That'll be fun. I'll have a little collateral damage to it. There we go. Of course, that's as far away as possible. Well, when shit goes down, it's really going to go down. <laughs> Check the piano. Ah, uh, that's that. So what else did I leave? Oh yeah, that was the toilet that I detonated. Ah, I think I just have the antacide left. I'm gonna save that for once I've dealt with the, uh, staff. Wow, I can't aim more shit. <laughs> Meanwhile... Shit's going down. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just launching booze. Yeah, if you're far away from the door when she comes up, you hear her over the intercom, but if you're close enough to the door to get back to it, you'll hear her through the door, so you can hear her through both. Alright. I'm really digging the uh, cowbell in this for some reason. It just seems suitable. I did detonate the... Well, I did some damage in here, I... <laughs> there we go. Take that, crappy. You're the worst. <laughs> Literally crappy. Eh, seems like a good spot to leave that. I am the manager of this place, and I have the authority to enter this room. really put up a fight that time all right now I might die uh, where's uh, I guess here and there to optimize the damage basically it gives you slow-mo and a sword and you go around doing damage, in, and then everything catches up with you. So if you hit the right stuff, it'll hit you with a lot of the physics items. And you can die really quickly from that. Ooh. Yeet. I said I was going to do one more run. There's two things I want to do is actually... Let's, let's just see what kind of damage I did. Okay, not not too bad. It would be leaderboard material if I already weren't higher up on the leaderboard. Ooh, Bill actually did really good on that one. I'm going to have to get competitive in this again. Okay, one more I want to show 
the the croc waiter on fire and the antiside in a situation where I haven't already destroyed everything. So those are two very important things. And give myself a little room to run as well. I like that. That's a cool feature. All right. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's the exact two things that I wanted. Uh, see, now that he hasn't been damaged, he can go on fire. <laughs> That's expensive. Oh, he's just like, oh. Actually, if setting him on fire isn't enough to set him off, that gives me a little window to do this for no reason. And then just, I don't know, set the bed on fire. Yeah, that'll do. All right. The silliest thing I've got. All right, I will do that on the next run. I'm already in a run, so I can't do that anymore. What I can do, however... is trash everything. Okay, cool. So the physics items, this this actually might be a big enough hotel that the physics items don't kill me. That might be deadlier in the smaller spaces, though. All right, I'm just going to go. Next hotel room, and I will break out. Now, when you say silly, do you mean just straight up, why would you use this? Or do you just mean, that would be ridiculous, why would they give you this? Because I have a black hole. And then I also have the trout. <laughs> Crossroads Hotel, local hotel, charity auction. Ah, the Shandy Manor Hotel. I believe I still have complete leaderboard dominance in this, in this one, if the leaderboard wants to load. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, some of these folks are coming close, though. Uh, one person. I think Bill knows my method. They have to know the same exploit that I know to get that close. All right, let's see. So I've got a bowling ball. It's basically a club, but it's a disembodied hand in a bowling ball. we got Murica. This is just a lawyer card. Saves me lawyer fees on a run. That's the black hole. If you use the black hole, you can't get on the leaderboard for that particular mission, for that particular run. It does not count if item included in Rider. You don't even have to use it, you just have to have it. We've got the firecrackers, the cattle prod, the molotov, which is <laughs> literally just uh, whiskey with a rag in it. Um, this one is another medicine. It lets you levitate stuff with your mind. Uh, Brutussin makes your hands big. There's the spike bat. There's the triple shotgun. There's, and also these all have normal versions, but I've unlocked upgraded versions and love using them. The Hulk fists, the fish, the power ball, the blubber squirter, the oil spray, the helmet with a head in it, the old timey pistol. So let's see. What else do I got? Of course, the t-shirt cannon. This is classic t-shirt cannon, and this is crazy jacked up science t-shirt cannon. The do not disturb sign skips the maid section. She comes to the door, she sees that sign, and she leaves, and then the uh, manager comes next. Um, yeah, glue gun sticks stuff together. I think that's all of them. I want them to actually add more content to this game. I, I could accept this being a complete game, but I also really want more just because... Like, it's got so much potential. At least give us some form of a level editor, you know? Let me make a hotel. Let me just stitch some blocks of pre-made hotel together and place some items in it or something. Now, this one is... Before the auction was added, this one was the first one to add really transitionary areas. I'll show you that here in a minute. But this is uh, kind of a beautiful spot to chill out in. There was a mission to deal with the gnomes, and I killed all those. They give you some nice, delicious-looking goods. That one really takes the cake, though. And all kinds of cool things to interact with and break. 
it's a very, very lavish looking space. Got a bit of everything for it. Of course, this is a very expensive hotel. And then you climb in the dumbwaiter. And you go downstairs. And uh, you have all of this. A fully stocked burr. A functional cannon. Here's the cannonball. You, take the, you stuff the cannonball or whatever else you want it to fire in there. And you uh, set that off. And it, of course, does some destruction. Because it's a proper firing cannon. You know, just cool stuff to play around with as well. It's got a fireplace, a cigar collection. It's got um, an interesting piece of that. It's got a, a nice bedroom here. And then it has a spooky jump scare situation. I mean, less spooky since I've seen it like a hundred times. This room has all kinds of cool stuff to play around with. Oh shit, that is, a, that is actually pretty powerful. <laughs> and then, the real gem of this stage, aside from it being absolutely beautiful, and I know you're seeing what I'm seeing, but there's a difference between seeing on a screen and being in it. Like, this is a beautiful hotel to be in. But, there's a little secret room. The hotel staff will not disturb you in here. I abuse the shit out of this. <laughs> it's got, uh, it's just really an Easter egg room. You can break this stuff too. It's just a fun thing the devs put in with some VR hardware. Can't put it on. That would have been a cool little Easter egg. We got some dummies, that sort of thing. I've taken liberal abuse of the staff won't bother you when you're in here because if you can set something in motion out there and get in here before shit goes serious you can basically set off a big old fire or a chain reaction of explosions and or whatever out there and as long as you're in here the staff won't bug you that's that's the exploit that's how i got my high scores i basically piled everything that I could on the pool table in front of the cannon, stuffed the cannon, um, put another pile closer here of all the flammable stuff, lit the fire, lit the cannon, ran for it, the cannon goes off and destroys a ton of stuff, the fire destroys a ton of stuff, once it's all settled, and sometimes you gotta lay on the floor because of the uh, smoke inhalation, but once that's all settled, you go upstairs and then you set off some C4. But, uh, you get some fun goodies here. Um, you can't smoke this one. It's just a big, honking, ridiculous cigar. But some of them you can actually light them, and then in turn you can use them to light things. Like, they definitely wanted to give you a way to light that. Or other stuff. It functions like a limited run. Uh, and, oh, whoop. That was. I was hoping it would be the pool cue, not the entire thing. This might be a problem. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna do something. F frig the detail on these. Let's see how much of this I can get away with before these are gone. Whoops, <laughs> whoops. You see the smoke coming in? Yeah, it'll get lower and lower, depending on how much is on fire at the time and what kind of outlets it has. Whoop. Now things are very on fire. I'm just putting those all in there because actually I should have put the cannonball in first. Whoop. All right, I'm going to have to play the lock game in a moment. I'm just going to leave this here for my return. I'm going to do another do of this where I actually fill that cannon right up and set shit off. It's pretty great. I also can't change between downstairs and upstairs when this is happening. Everything here echoes a little bit.
Yeah, it's better when you put the cannonball in first and then all the pool balls, because it goes like grape shot, but it still has the oomph of the cannonball. So I forgot, because it's been a little while. You only get one shot with the cannon. Hmm. Gonna have to get that sorted. I might switch out another this controller. All right, let's go upstairs. Ah, uh, it's not really enough time to show this off properly. This is literally a black hole. It will get bigger and suck stuff in. It's fun. Ah oh, yeah, some of that doesn't break. There's a reason the black hole disqualifies you for the leaderboard that run. And that bounces around, it's fun. Alright, time to bounce. Speaking of bounces around. And my leaderboard won't count on this one, but I'm not gonna crack that anyway. Not without a lot of setup. The black hole has some fun stuff to it as well in that it's uh, got another non it's got a non-standard way to end a level included if you get inside the black hole. Let's see what else did I want to Glue gun is as you might expect a way to glue some stuff together. Look at that. Now they're glued together. Whoop. Whoop. It's not the greatest. You, you can do some fun stuff with it. You can stick a weapon on another weapon and you can do some okay kind of stuff with that. Or you just cover stuff in glue. That record should not be playing. <laughs> not in that scenario. All right, let's... Keep her nice and simple here. I want to stuff this. I want to center the aim a little bit more too. All right, all right, let's see. Back here and then turning and then uh, kind of like that. Yeah. All right, video game physics. <laughs> Not quite there yet. I'm just going to put all these balls in there. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I can just go into this for some reason. Treat a lot of stuff like it's actually physical. I have had a lot of fun with this game. It is a great little bit of a stress reliever. Because you, you just, well, I mean, you've seen, you just go in and smash stuff. It's, uh, it's, a, good, it's a good bit of fun. Let's see. Okay, didn't set off the, uh, the alert yet. They don't know I'm down here doing this. Really, jumpy or glitchy? All right, let me, uh, like, consistently, or let me just, uh, give me a second here. I gotta get a drink anyway. I'm gonna take a look, see if I can spot anything obvious.
closed out. So, oh, okay. Oh no, it did definitely cause it to crap the bed. I was worried about that. I think that one needs to be up. Give me a sec. Wait. Wait, it is up. Wait a minute. Okay, so it's just Miss Hard Bounds activated. Please check your position. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's just misbehaving now. See, I've got a few extra add-ons, plugins and stuff running on here to do some of the stuff I want to do in VR. Um, no way, it's not the settings anyway. It's this. Window settings, set contents. There we go, got it back. Oh, might be your side. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't look like I've got any drop frames, but I did close a few windows that I could stand to not have open. Although I'm not sure how much of that would come into play with 64 gigs of DDR4 4000. But I didn't need them open anymore anyway. Also, when I'm doing serious business setup, I like to take everything that's breakable, pile it on here, so that way it takes the brunt, it takes that blast, the stuff gets all that as well. I take all the burnable stuff, and uh, actually I usually put the burnable stuff on that bed, because then I can really quickly get into the safety room after setting that off. So when I'm doing a run for the sake of a high score, I think it's upwards of an hour in setup hoping that I don't accidentally bump too many things and get the room countdown going before I want it to. The other trick is as well if I've got the TAC 9s I can do all my setup down here go up top pop out a lot I don't think TAC 9 is the right one you know the silenced machine guns I can go up and pop out all the windows and because the guns are silenced, if you haven't screwed up anything else, uh, you can get away with that and then come back down here and set everything off and hide in the room. So it's a combination of things, really, to get some crazy high scores. For some reason, that's, that's just the thing that happens. I can grab this. I've never really been successful in getting that out undamaged. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! Here, here's a little trick they don't count on you doing. <laughs> and then he's like that until I turn around a certain degree. I need this. Uh, not a lot left here. I'm just gonna shoot the cannon. The cannon's fun. You can also light the logs in the fireplace too. For some reason it smokes up the place. A nice crackling fire going. The uh, cannonball used to be up there, and they wanted you to uh, find it to be able to do that. Nowadays, though, they put it more in reach. I think they got some complaints about that. That's a long fuse. Complete annihilation. Complete annihilation. So yeah, that's how those go down in this one. Uh, so let's move on to the next hotel. I'm going to change up the loadout a little bit as well. I'm trying to remember which one is next. I think it might be the pump tower one. I want them to make more hotels. This game is frigging great. And honestly, I would pay for an expansion pack. There we go. Yep, Pump Tower is the top end. Uh, I'm going to do some damage to the Pump Tower Hotel. I'm going to switch out the... the uh, I'm going to take one of my favored loadouts, actually. So there's that. The shotgun's fun, but eh. Uh, take the tack 10. So I was a number off. 
actually the handguns are a good one for this. Uh, the ability to set things on fire is always nice. Where's the lighter? Oh, it's literally the next one down. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> what else was it gonna take? Something else to really trash up the place here. This one's got a nice, actually, if you figure something out, you can do three different areas. One of them's tricky. I'll take this again. So it starts you off here. You're now at the height of your career. You're super famous to the point that uh, they want to put you up in this ridiculous place. The Pump Tower Hotel. Got a lot of nice stuff in the Pump Tower Hotel. You get a splishy splashy bar. I'm not entirely sure the purpose of this. I mean, I guess you can soak your feet. I mean, nice bar though, you know. Got a whole mini golf course that you can actually play through because they give you the golf balls, they give you the clubs. It's actually a very functional mini golf course. It's kind of great. Then we have the gym. Ooh, a gym. The jump box. Only you, you can't jump. So they don't really uh, do a lot for you. These things. And you get a nice, uh, nice bit of a seafood buffet. You get another fish. Now, this is essentially a duplicate of the fish that you can get in your rider, but it's the non-upgraded version. So this is, a, this is a free extra melee item. Fish breaks pillar. Who knew? I will take you to where you belong. Don't worry, Mr. Fishy. Be free. And then there's a little side door. And much like uh, other major big hotels, there's a whole office in here. And there's a lot of things you can destroy in the office. Do, do, business, business, business. Do, 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 do. Hmm. So lots of fun stuff you can go around and... Oh, <laughs> certain era of tech in this place actually what was the 325 so yeah that'll open the safe or in this level it'll also open this now the only thing about opening this is as soon as you open that it starts the guard counter it skips the maid it skips the other guy you've got a little bit of time to mess around with construction equipment and then everything is uh shooty so it is a good way to rack up some extra money, though, if you can get things going to a certain degree. Let's see. Yeah. Whoops. I just somehow dropped that on my face. Yeah, that's a guaranteed way to uh, set some things off. Oh, I forgot to take the double guns. Whoops. <laughs> take that. You can destroy all the stuff out here the exercise equipment the bar the mini golf course and then you can move on in here and trash an office i won't be long <laughs> 
Where do I want this to go? Hotel no. property and, um, that oh, shit. Crime. All right. Well, I lost the thing again. What the hell? All right. You can just pick up other stuff that is uh, appropriately shaped or sized. Oh, that TV somehow dodged. Haha, <laughs> nope. Nope. Cactus. You can also set a lot of the office on fire. This game has a few other modes. It has party mode, which is some mini games that I don't really like. They're not related to the main thing. They're kind of finicky. I might as well show them anyway. There's also uh, a sandbox mode. So you can literally just destroy things to your heart's content. Of course, you don't get a high score in the sandbox mode. And then there's an ad for the pawn shop. I've bought all the stuff. Then there's the story, which you can replay. Settings, yeah, it just shows you stuff. I'll show you party mode here. I'm gonna show you the shop though. I've cleaned it all. I don't remember this having that smoke effect. Hmm. You go here. I've bought everything that they will sell me right now. I want them to add more stuff to it. But that's what you use your money that you build up for. You use it to buy all the things. The spiked bat, the tomahawk, the helmet, all the medicines, stuff for your character. I've unlocked all the things for my character. Yeah, they get a few different settings here for you. And then they have a little practice range as well. It's also got its own mini game that I also do not really play much. Where, you know, you just you you kill the de you kill cardboard cutouts of the devs. It's not bad. You pick you pick your loadout. You set it here so that everything's ready to go. Let's see, five waves, three seconds to recoup between wa uh, no, three waves, five seconds, max score per dummy, score for Wolfen. Yeah, it puts everything that you have, that you've unlocked, available to you. So it's just a great way to play around with stuff. It gives you some random pl props to play around with as well. Eh, they could have stuck that in as an Easter egg. Still getting used to how readable everything is. Let's see, if I want to do a little bit of damage. Whoop, did not mean to do that. Put that there. Guns on one side. That's useful, actually. You just gotta get the timing right. Yeah, here we go. And what do I want to start off with on this? This plus a little bit of ammo.
I like that all this is cardboard though. Like, it's a cardboard recreation of their of their uh, studio, I think. I was gonna set that up. Get good mileage on. Whoops. I'll keep that handy. There we go. Now it's gonna get smoky in here. Oh, look at sneaky up there. gun over there whoop where'd my back go oh i finished that's why it puts everything back after you finish a go of it can't actually play it even though that's kind of your whole thing in this you can do that though you can break all the stuff. This was the best upgrade, because the original was straight up just a foam finger. And about as useful for trashing things as you might expect a regular foam finger to be. So, very, very useful upgrade. Your inner metal god. Yeah, that guitar is uh, fragments. Hua! Hua! Throw a punch. Good to see you there, Odin Wolf. Yeah, it's just one of those days, you know how it is. Oop. Then the other floors are more uh, purgatory, I believe, is where mini games live. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, there's some uh, mini game challenge stuff here. Oh, yeah, this is a whole do the sins thing. Yeah. Which can be used in the hotels. Please pick one from the screen. Yeah, these are uh, not as fun as they look, but I will uh, demonstrate. Cause as much damage to the vehicle, filled with state of the art anti theft. Timer start once it's assortment of tools to help with the repairs. Okay, so that's how much money you could make off of this one, which. Not a lot. These are more very useful for um, early game. Yeah. Oh, look, it gives me the old version of some of these tools. So, yeah, it w <laughs> Oh my god, it's the Pope Mobile. I didn't even realize that's what the prompt was. Can I just get in? <laughs> it's the Pope. It's literally the Pope Mobile. I just did damage and the timer didn't start. No, no, no. 
I'm doing a lot of damage and the timer's not starting. Interesting. <sighs> you you all know what I wanna say right now, right? Alright, yeah, that's bolt proof, right? Wait, no. Oh, right, it's the non-upgraded version, so it doesn't do that. Fine. Holy smokes! If I had a mullet... Wow, that's r really not setting up. Which, wait, wait, which one is this? Oil spray. Okay. Wow, this is, uh... So fur. Wait a minute. Did I... I don't know why they gave me this. This is seeming kind of useless. What's... <laughs> Maybe it only sets the timer off when I start cracking into the uh, the actual Popemobile dome. I love that they give me stuff that they won't give you in the regular game. Why not let me have these in a hotel room? There we go. There we go. Hammer time. Oh, that's kind of catchy. Actually, this is a new minigame. I don't remember this one. This is like that, uh, this is like the, uh, everybody's favorite minigame in Street Fighter. Hands down, that's the worst. No. Ah, ran out of time. Okay. That one actually wasn't too bad. I like that. Interior parts, exterior parts, miscellaneous parts. Okay. Yeah, that beat was kind of good. That was a new one. Envy. Sloth. Hit the incoming, build up a streak. I remember this one sucking, so we'll see if that's still the case. Just hit the incoming markers on the beat. Too early or late? Is this rhythm game but VR? In which you basically only have hands and a head? What's it want me to do? Oh. Oh yeah, this one. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I think the being in VR and then controlling yourself essentially third person or whatever point of view this is, is why I didn't like this one. <sighs> also, needing extra arms. Dance Dance Octopus, yeah. Yeah, that one is uh, The Devil's Garden. Trim the Hedge, oh my god. Ah, <sighs> that's right, I do not like this style of minigame in anything. But I'm gonna show you folks this anyway. It's basically, you see the thing and you wanna match. Wow. Okay. That doesn't even let me practice on the other ones. Yeah, I'm supposed to make this look like that, and I'm not. And it works like this. But I also know that is. I gotta do 
not good at this style of minigame. Never have been. And I think this one you can actually wind up losing money on if you're bad enough. Alright. So that's where the stick is. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a try though. Music kinda slaps. Ah, I screwed up there. There's no way to there's no way to un No wait, I didn't. It's it's a cube. It's it's a frame. Yeah, this is not going to be close to what they want me to make. And then it'll rate it. And it'll tell me how much I suck. Oh, it doesn't show the comparison. Final accuracy. <laughs> yeah, even then the resistance is... Uh, well, it's not bad on this one. It's not the most amazing. Let's see. Pool vents. Okay, so this one you fish money out of the pool and put it in the trunk. Make things harder, uh, you don't need to make things harder. So yeah, I'm underwater and I'm grabbing money and valuables. Huh. No. <laughs> Whatever that is, I'm sure that's worth something. Oh my god. Ugh. Ooh, give me the goblet. This one's not too bad, actually. Get back here. Get back here, shoe. I don't even know if that's worth anything. I'll have to watch out for other valuables. Ah, uh, the other shoe. Now it's worth something. Fat stacks. <laughs> there we go. Uh, respectable, respectable. Uh, let's see, envy. Oh yeah, I did. I already did the envy one. Exercise. Ah yes, this one. This one's weird. This <laughs> is not horrible. This is weird. You'll see. This one's hard one. To, yeah, you get all kinds of parts. And you can put those parts on this dummy. Oh, you got a hit as well. And the throw is kind of weird. There we go. That's, that's... That's a body part, right? <sighs> yeah, the throw feels weirder in this one than it does in other parts of this game. <sighs> I don't know why. I don't know why they made it like this. That's that's you know close enough. <sighs> All right. Turn around. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is, okay, screw it. You, you get ab. Oh, yeah, and there's a timer. Ugh. The throw feels so weird on this one. And <laughs> none anatomically correct. It's, it's, it's a funny concept and all. It's just, uh, not my favorite. But it does give you safe codes. So it does have that going for it. Uh, let's see. Party mode is literally doing these, but competing solo or with up to five bandmates. So you can multiplayer a little bit on this. And leaderboard stuff. Sandbox is a fun one to play around with. Ho hotel select. Whoop. Right, right, right. Uh, 
Uh, what do I want to do? He... Actually, I'll keep that. I'll keep the tack. I'll keep the revolver. I'll trade that out for the C4 combo. Oh, yeah, I want that, actually. Now I'll trade that for the C4 combo. Have I passed it? Oh, it's up top. Oh, my God. Gun, gun, black hole. Um, yeah, then I want fire. Fire. And I'll take the bandolier to double my guns, double my fun. So, yeah. It's very similar to the standard mode, except nobody's coming. Nobody is ever coming. I can destroy every single piece of everything in this place, and nothing will ever show up. Nobody will ever show up to ruin my, my fun on this. That's always a good move. But you know... An even better move. Property of CERN. That's concerning. Let's, let's get the black hole some food, shall we? There we go. Used up all the uh, wholeness of the black hole. It's all holed out. These. I'm not sure these keys are the most accurate. Whoop! That's on fire. Oh, now my hand's on fire. Well, I'll put it in the water. We'll be fine. Oh, the fire's out. It went out on its own. That's the same, right? Wicker? I actually don't know if this is technically wicker. Before I make my joke about wicker, I should make sure it's accurate. Murica. Oh wait, those two aren't breakable for some reason. I don't know why this one ran out before the other one did. I'm not great at counting, I guess. Yep, there we go. You know what I noticed though? This hotel doesn't have a toilet. Maybe that's what that pool of water over there is for. That'll implicate somebody. Do that. I like to take all the explodables, all the uh, damageables, and I like to put the C4 pretty much right about here, and then put as many breakables, like non flammable breakables, around here as possible, and then set it off when I'm trying to go for a high score run on this. Like all these. All that kind of stuff. Now, in this case, I used the C4. Did I use this? I think I used the C4 on something else already. Oh, no, I didn't. C4 yourself. Uh, so yeah, I think I had worked out that the ideal height. Huh. Oh. 
all right, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the thing. Crap, crap, crap. This is not supposed to happen. We'll see if I can get out of this. I might not be able to get out of this. This is a perfect game with no bugs. Oh, oh cool, it figured it out. Nice. They can't stop me from getting in the walls, but they can at least fix it, I guess. Where did, um, there's the remote. Oh yeah, so for the right height, I find that works quite nicely, and I can pretty much annihilate anything I put in there. And then some. Oh, cool, it's a shower. That's kind of handy. That's kind of cool. I didn't need. I, I played this game a ton and I never knew that was a shower. It's going to look great, great when I ruin it. Is that already broken? I mean, it can't be, right? Is it? This is oddly satisfying. I think I got all of them. I say just before I see the one that I missed. Pop. Oh, look at the the other balls that I've knocked. Yeah, close enough, right? Wow. <laughs> they have a little uh, they have a little oomph to them, huh? A little a uh, little bit of bouncy bouncy for some re Oh. Well, I took care of that. <laughs> Apparently, we have flubber golf balls here. Oh, it won't let me get on it. That's annoying. This hand goes through it for some reason. Let's go on into the office and rack up some business expenses. Uh, Kinda wish it would give you unlimited stuff when you're in sandbox mode. Wow. I feel like that shouldn't be able to run right now. Let's warm up some water, shall we? Hmm. I think you can microwave some stuff and it does not handle it well. Let's see if I can phone it in.
Hmm. That's a nice little attention touch attention to detail. Just realizing I left my lighter where the piano was. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that and be a little bit of an arsonist here. If I can find where my lighter has gone. Uh huh. That just might be gone, gone. Yeah. I don't know where the lighter went. Hope it's gone somewhere good. I'm in kind of rough shape here. I'll take this. Whoops. All right. That won't let me, it won't let me automatically go in then. Four, five, eight. All right, yeah, so normally this would trigger the guard countdown. But because I'm in sandbox mode, it does not. And you can seriously rack up some uh, Expenses real quick by playing around with this. So it's a fun one to play around with a little bit. This game is better than any actual VR rage room that I've seen yet. There's a, there's a few out there and they're not bad, but none of them have the, uh, the scope of what this game has. What is physics anyway? Can't pick up some stuff. Whoop! Oh, that's my hand gone. Up, oh, and that's the rest of me. All right, let's uh, let's see what it says. I think it still tallies up your damage. You don't you don't get to be in the leaderboard. Yeah, see, it voids it. No risk, no reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home. Is there anything else in particular you folks would like to see on here before I go looking for somebody to raid? Because I'm thinking, I'm getting to the point in the day where I think it's a good time to find somebody to raid. But I also do requests. So if you want to see me... How are these all the same note?
Hmm. That's disappointing. Not entirely sure how this works. Key oh yeah, this is the uh, VR game Kitar Hero. Oh, I'm hitting the same note. It's a very easy game. Me to it. Ah, there's another one. I can still. This is the content warning for the show. I actually still get a little bit of this left. Just enough to do that. Oh, and there's an acoustic. Ooh. It's weird how it cuts off. Yeah, take that piano. Take that piano. That's right, they give you this to play around with, too. Cast to screen. Oh, that's cool. Selfie cam. Oh! Oh, that's that's actually cool. I didn't know they had that. Yeet! <laughs> Alright, fine. Those ones don't do anything. These ones, however, they go splat quite nicely. <laughs> oh yeah, the champagne is still there. What? Hard bounds activated. I must have gotten too... I don't know. Hi? Not sure what happened there. Whoop, oh, nope, nope, I know you can, I know you can pop the, yeah, there you go, you can pop the cork. Nothing in it, though. Ah, yeah, I knew there was something up there I could break. Oh, that piano is going to need to be tuned. So yeah, fun game. Um, 
As you can tell by my scores on the leaderboards, it's a good one to get competitive in. This is kind of cool, actually, like this. Oh! Oh, that's cool! It just automatically did that. Nice. I'm sure that's expensive. And now glass in my eyes. <laughs> I got the table back. Yes. That I have destroyed repeatedly every hotel room I had that's in this, as well as completely destroying every toilet, which was I can't get this out of the wall. Can't get this out of the wall. Oh, took a few. Oh, cool! It's the studio. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I am great at darts. That momentum didn't work in my favor on that one. All right. Well, I think that's a good spot for me to find somebody to raid tonight. Uh, next stream will be Manhunt Monday, live Minecraft manhunts. Uh, depending on how things go with something I've applied for, you might see a lot more Manhunt streams, but if not, I'll still be planning on a VR stream for Wednesday. Not sure what game I'll be playing on Wednesday, though. I've got a good list of stuff. I'm going to pick something to really sink my teeth into for you folks. Might even do a Half-Life Alex playthrough. Now that game is pretty. Actually, yeah, that would be a good one to do. Half-Life Alex is really, really pretty game. So let's find somebody to raid. Whoop. Okay.